A team at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago has come up with a special device to save a coronavirus infected patient's life. Chris Hush has a look at how the device could become an alternative to a ventilator under dire circumstances. It oxygenates, removes the carbon dioxide. It's a device used on flu patients at Northwestern Medicine just three months ago. Today, for the first time at Northwestern, that same machine has saved the life of a patient with coronavirus. Without this um, ability to get this patient to the higher, a higher level of care, the outcome could have been much different. McHenry Hospital's chief nurse executive, Katie Schmidt, says the medical team made its first transport of an ECMO machine from downtown to McHenry Hospital within hours. That's all the time the patient had. The two teams had to come together and brief on the situation and almost do a simulation in their minds. This is their last ditch effort. ECMO is only used in the most severe cases. The machine removes the blood from the body, then pumps oxygen into the blood. Think of it as an external heart or a lung, allowing the damaged organs to rest. All the gas exchange happens in this oxygenator, and from there, through this uh, red tubing, the blood gets uh, uh, transported back to the patient. Today, the patient is off of ECMO and is expected to make a full recovery from the coronavirus. Although ECMO isn't the first option to replace a ventilator, Northwestern's Dr. Ankit Bharat says it's an option that can buy time. It needs to be done at very, very, very select centers. It's just a very resource intensive uh, technology. And with hundreds or thousands of new cases every day, time is of the essence. The University of Oxford says they have already vaccinated hundreds of people with their experimental COVID-19 vaccine and expect results in mid-June. One professor says researchers want to make sure the rest of the world will be ready to make the vaccine at scale once it gets approval from regulators. They're working with pharmaceutical company AstraZeneca for international distribution and will make it available to low to medium income countries. Both Oxford and AstraZeneca have agreed to operate on a not-for-profit basis with the vaccine.